Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, in July 12, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get early access to some of our videos. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see on Friday, we did have a really good day for the market as a whole. And the market just opened right now and we we're opening in basically the green. So there's still room to the upside until we hit the top of the bullish band. We're probably going to target 4,400. That's not very far off where we are at this current stage. We are fairly overstretched still, even though we had a very big pullback on Thursday. People are basically buying the dip. I expected this to pull back all the way down to the very bottom, that, but it only went down to the 20 exponential and then it rallied from there. At this point, 4,400 will most likely be the target. After that, 4,500 will most likely be the target after that. But we are getting fairly overstretched, getting too close to the top of the bullish band. That will basically make the RSI go towards the 70 and beyond that. Otherwise, the MACD is bullish, the stochastic is flat at this current stage. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones as well on Friday had a really, really nice uh, rally. Thursday, we broke down below the middle of the bullish band, but people are basically buying the dips. And so it did not go as far as expected. So we're opening in the green. We're trading at the 34,887 this current stage. MACD is bullish. Stochastic is bullish. RSI is still fairly low. So there's still a lot of room to the upside. We could go all the way down to up towards a very uh, all time highs here at 35,140 before running into uh, resistant. It pulled back through here, as you can see. 20 exponential and the middle of the Bullinger band uh, roughly at the 34,350, uh, give or take. That should be the bottom at this current stage break. Below that, we could drop all the way down to 33,500 and another 1,000 points. So the NASDAQ. So market NASDAQ opened in red, but still we are basically at it all time high. 14,838 at this current stage. We are overbought at this point 72 in the rsi macd is leveling off and stochastic is leveling off so probably the nasdaq will have a harder time rallying compared to the other indices if we were to pull back and then we can see that we found support here at the 14,553 give or take and just underneath that we have the 20 exponential break below that, then we will probably drop to the 50, but 14,000 probably should be the bottom of this market. Long-term targets will mostly be 15,000 and beyond that. So the German DAX. So German, the European industries have been very up and down. Haven't opened yet, but you can see just how, um, well, very volatile this has been for the last uh, few weeks. This is just not the German indices. This is also the other, the European in general indices. So we kind of have the hard target uh, highs here of the 15,700, uh, just above that. And the uh, very lows here down at uh, roughly 15,271. If you look at the, the Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish. The stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. We're at 53, so fairly low. So we may rally up towards the top of this uh, range. Uh, 16,000 will mostly be the target here, but it has a really difficulty getting through this uh, area here, roughly 15,750 up towards 15,800. Break below here, then 15,000 and then the 200 moving average come into play. So let's look at the UK 100, the FTSE, and also here, uh, massive move to the downside, rallies, massive move. So bottom of the market here, roughly 7,000, give or take. We did fall towards 6,950 and then we rallied all the way up. So area here of uh, resistance is around 7,150. Break above that, then we'll go to 7,200. 7,250 and then beyond that. At this current stage, MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is flat, but fairly low 
So there's a lot of room still to the upside. So if this opens above the middle of the bullish band, then there's a fairly good chance they will go to the very highs. So China 50. So China 50 has been absolutely battered to a crisp for the last, uh, last month and a half, or basically last big month. We found support down here at the 300 moving average, down at 16,400. Technical indicators, they are mixed. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is still bullish at this point. It was very low, but we had a fairly good rally on Friday. But still, if we rally up towards the 20 exponential, the question is whether or not we managed to break above that. As we have tested it several times, we have basically been breaking down from that point. So rally up towards roughly 17,165. That will be the test here whether or not that we manage to break through that or we break uh, we break down again towards the 300 moving average break of the 300 moving average then we that opens the door to 16,000 probably also 15,000 in the long run so hope you found this helpful you want to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos and you're welcome to join us over patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much